Hi, I'm Paul Salmon, and welcome to this issue of Football Record Video. I'll be your host for the next 70 minutes, so sit back, relax, turn up the volume, and get ready for the very, very best in AFL action. In this issue of Football Record Video, we have all our regular features such as top marks, goals, tackles and bumps. I hope I get a run on this. We'll report on the comeback of Tim Watson and we'll speak with the coach of North Melbourne, Dennis Pagan, on the Roos' great start to the season. Also, our great footy replay features the 1989 State of Origin clash before 90,000 fans at the MCG. A match which featured the guys such as Lockett, Dunstall, Burton for Victoria and Kernahan Platinum and Jarman Brothers for South Australia. What a highlight that was. Plus, the Norwich Rising Star and Player of the Month. And don't forget, there's you supporters having your say. All that and more on Football Record Video. It's shuffled out. Still Schwartz. The kick for the half for Lomeri is again Kerry. Kerry gets it to Stevens. Stevens on the left foot. Fires it a goal. Right through the middle to North Melbourne for a goal. A nice hand pass. Campbell centers the ball. Hogg versus Martin. And across the front. Here's a chance for Nates. A snap. And Chris Nates has put it through the middle. Another hand pass. Stevens over the top cleverly. As the kick from Larkin, Matthew Larkin. Oh! Fly! I think it's a mark. Oh, look at that by Longmire. Therefore, yeah, you've got a chance when you get the ball forward. I thought the kick from Larkin might have gone through. John Longmire. Oh, he's hooked it. Has he kicked it? Yes, he's third. Schwoss from the Morris middle winner. Awkward looking kick. In fact, a bad kick. McAdam gives away the hand pass. Pyman, 25 metres out directly in front. And has popped it through for another one. Adelson, Roberts, who is very mobile for his side, shepherd by Pyman, long way out from goal, 55 metres, kicks it goal, off the hands of the pack, McCannon goal, he kicks his fourth. Pinpoint accuracy, and it needed to be, or oh, Smith, they might make a meal of this after all. Ball socket out to Waitman, the flea, can he get back? He does. Snapshot, was it by Lees? It's close, it's there, and it's a goal. Turner in front, no mark, hand pass from Pyman and on to Swass. Swass straightens up from 45 metres, swings it back, Wayne Swass, for a beautiful goal. Ramiro, turns on a threepenny bit, gets it back inside 50, Carey, McAdam, can he get another goal? 15 metres out, goes at it, and gets it. It up for a fantastic last quarter away, punch away from the pack. Here it is again, McAdam, Adrian McAdam from South Alice Springs. Goes at goal, oh. and he has threaded it right on the siren. Right on the siren. Tunnel ball, that one to Menegola, back to Waitman. Waitman, back to Knights. Knights over the top, a chance for Richmond here. Nation open goal, he rates it in, and he slams it through. Jose Ramiro from 45 metres. Oh, it's out to the right. That's where he ran, and the pack develops. Oh, good mark, Wayne Carey. Very, very young captain. Great future. Farm directly in front, and he has goal. Four goals forward, is Tony. Big game for both sides. Centre half forward for the Blues. Kernahan paid the mark. So, a chance for the Blues' first goal, and the first goal of the day. It's kicked by Kernahan. Fode off the left foot. Kicks it across the ground. St Kilda mark taken by O'Brien. He'll have a shot. And he'll kick a goal. 
Taylor, a little bit late again. This is Heaver at left centre wing. A short pass into the arms of the star of the match in Greg Williams. Even though he was benched disciplinary wise in the first turn, that is a goal. Excellent from the run, love it. With the aid of the breeze, goes well into the centre half forward region. Plain, oh, beautiful play, plain. Ordinary kick, but it might bounce through for a goal. Thompson caught with a footy, gets the hand pass away. Scotty Wine, away to young West. West goes long. What a beautiful kick by West. <laughs> Third goal. And he's put inside under plenty of pressure. Now a chance for Grant. Thompson tries to go off the ground. Sexton, will he give the hand pass? Thought about giving it to Liberatore. Turns round. Lovely right footer. Close. Looks good. Right on the goal umpire. It's there. Grant was nearly a terrific half volley. Showed great courage to put himself into the contest. West. Oh, skillfully. West for goal number five, personally. Yes! Brilliant play. G'day, I'm Mick McGuan from the Collingwood Football Club. For the best highlights, the most spectacular action and the latest news, keep your eye on football record video. I guess that Tony Shaw had a brilliant burst of oh, no it's shown by McGuan. One of the great aspects of football is the involvement of you, the supporter. And as you know, we at Football Record Video like you to have your say. So keep an eye out for our cameraman and you're next at the football and have a go. We'd like to hear what you've got to say. Who's your favourite player? Tony Free. Tony Free. What do you call him? Freezer, that's right. What number is he? 30. 30, good girl. I think Stewie Lloyd is the best player in the whole competition. Um, really St amazing. Kilda! St Kilda is the best! Yeah! <laughs> Something that always excites the fans is the emergence of new talent in the AFL. Well, there's a new award this year to celebrate these young stars. It's called the Norwich Rising Star Award. The winner, to be announced later in the season, will receive a $10,000 portfolio from Norwich Insurance. So here's this month's Norwich Rising Star. First of all, my goals were to uh, play between 8 and 10 games for the season. Um, I personally set those goals myself and then uh, I had a chat with Terry Wheeler, the coach, and we sat down and examined him. And he said there was no reason for me not to play any more than uh, 10 games this season. So I sort of, at the moment, uh, are looking forward to playing more than my set number of games. So if I can do that, it's been a um, very pleasing year for myself. Before the Essendon game, there was a lot of build-up because it was a game we had to win out here at our uh, home ground. There was pretty much a big build up with supporters and sponsors and everyone and I know a lot of pe people that play with Essendon, a lot of guys that I played against in junior football so it was an exciting game for myself to uh, be in. Um, probably the best thing I can remember of the game was kicking goals. West goes long. What a beautiful kick by West. The one Pacific play I can remember is when Steve Collinhook intercepted a ball here on the uh, members wing um, and he and myself ran down the ground, he took about three or four bounces down Geelong Road and into the breeze and uh, there was an Essendon guy running with us and I was shepherding him off and all of a sudden he handballed over the top of the Essendon bloke to me and I ran and kicked the goal and that was probably the most memorable thing of the day. 
Six goals to Scott West, 94 to 58. Playing alongside likes of Doug and uh, Scotty Wine and Tony Libertori has been probably the best experience I've got through football. Um, although Scotty Wine is still young, he um, still got a wealth of experience which he's passed down through the younger guys, which I've grabbed onto, and Tony Libertori I rove with most of the time. He uh, is always willing to give encouragement and support and Doug's just Doug the captain and he's really good to us, the younger blokes. We haven't hit, our, hit the same form as we were last year. Um, I think coming into a second, trying to back it up the second year, two years running, is probably the hardest thing for a club to do. So I think we've just got to uh, keep at it and try and get back to the form we were last year. West, oh skillfully, West for goal number five personally, yes! Brilliant play. Magnificent football by Footscray. Hi, I'm Nathan Buckley from the Brisbane Bears, and for all the latest information around the grounds, watch Football Record Video. Each month we feature a special player's question, and this month, just to show you that we too have a sense of humour, have asked the player what is the funniest incident they've seen while playing. Get a load of this. Probably one of the funniest incidents in a game that I've played in was uh, when I, about the second or third time I played on Dermot Brereton and uh, I had him, or I was playing on him and I actually was sort of mucking around, we were trying to belt each other all day and then in the end we ended up on the ground and I went to grab a pair of these things that were just hanging there and five seconds later I'm on my back and he's about to pummel me and he just started laughing and I was sort of waiting for the impact but he laughed and laughed and laughed and he said Nettie, 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 if you behave yourself for a whole day I'll give you one of my three girls tonight and he was only joking of course because he'd have more than three to have about ten. Just some of the times just seeing, uh, you know, when it's been quite muddy, just seeing some of the players when you, um, when they dive in for the ball and just to sort of see them coming up after the ball with their face completely covered in mud, you know, can be quite humorous. Uh. Certainly went in search of that collision. Well, look at this. This is virtually going to be fixed on it there. Six points around the board. Well, give them their due. Footscray won't go away. Wine. Liberatore, oh, met very solidly. North Melbourne going further away in this last quarter. Stevens, all Footscray here, about three to one. Oh. Courageous mark taken by Tui. Up towards half forward, Wakeman and Smith. Gale, goes by the Cape. Oh, directed kick, and Campbell takes a very courageous mark. Congestion, off hands. Hurried kick by Smith back towards half forward. Hawkins racing at that one. What a collision. Hawkins and Rock. Hawkins is hurt and he went in search of that collision. Jakovic. O'Reilly's kick into the pocket. Back there is Mansfield and Warsfold. But by Ablett. Hard at the footy. Hi, I'm Kevin McNair and I supply, I make all their vloggers and patties and, um, do it every week for him. Mm. I'm a mad keen Carlton supporter, but I can't help but love Dennis Banks. Go Blues! <laughs> I've been a Carlton supporter for 24 years, and on paper, Carlton is the best side in the league. David Parkin's probably doing the best job of all coaches. This lady's got no idea about Carlton. They are the best side. Being the host of Football Record Video gives me a chance to have my say. Isn't that nice for a change? I suppose one of the questions most frequently asked of me is whether I prefer to play in the ruck or at full forward. Well, if I've heard that question once, I've heard it a thousand times. But I suppose if I was going to answer it now, appropriate to way Essendon is at the moment, we have Somerville, we have Alessio, and we don't have a, enough key forwards. So my role is mainly out of necessity rather than anything else. I enjoy playing forward line, and at the moment we need guys kicking goals. So that's where my future lies, for the short term anyway. He does well, does very well, does extremely well. Upon my arrival at Essendon in 1981 to play football with the under-19s, someone else was arriving and stealing my thunder, coach Kevin Sheedy. Well, Kevin and I have been together now as player and coach for what is th our 13th year. It's been a rather interesting time. I've been very lucky and very fortunate to have played football under Kevin. His philosophies haven't changed much in football, but his style has somewhat. I think it's important to note that when you're playing under a coach, he has certain guidelines to play to. It's fitted my style, although at times I wish I'd played more on the ball, and that's been well documented. 
but I've been very fortunate and very lucky, as I've said, and I look forward to a long and happy future with Kevin, and I hope it's happy. As long as you keep picking me, it's happy. <laughs> Essendon's had some great teams over the last 10 years and I often get asked who are the best players I've seen. Well the first three virtually speak for themselves. Tim Watson, Terry Danaher and Simon Madden have been absolute champions and now hold their place as legends of the Essendon Football Club, a mantle I might, might aspire to one day myself. There have been some other great players, I mean I could, I could start and never finish. Leon Baker, Glenn Hawker, Merv Nagel, Brian Wood, Darren Williams, the list does go on. I can count myself as a very, very lucky man. Seven, he's got it, what a great end. Well, we've seen a lot of changes to football over the last 10 years. The code's gone national and it's a very exciting time. But with the game itself going more professional, the players find themselves in the position that they have to as well. I myself, I've decided to go professional football to give more time to my football. Hopefully that'll relate to one field better performances. Essendon Football Club, for example, have a scholarship scheme running at the moment whereby our young players partake in gaining qualifications in sports administration and whereby they can train in the mornings at the club and only enhance their performance on the field. I think it's a very exciting time for football. I'm hoping that everything goes well and looking forward to the future. He saw Chris Danner in a bit of trouble there with Ablett. He came across to support and knocked it out of bounds. Some of it are kneeled. Gary Hocking. Quick right foot snap. Oh, that's a brilliant piece of football. Geelong set. It's been a good battle so far, Peter. Heard on top of Hinkley. Hinkley's been quiet. The free kick played against him too. Barnes tried to punch it through. Mercury gets pinned. Buick in the goal square snaps and gets it. No mark taken. Roving it well. It was the Brownlow medalist. Paul Couch. Funny looking kick. The end result might be OK. Adler slung off the ball. Snap shot. He's got his fourth. In turn to Denham. And Denham's kick goes in towards centre-half forward. A high leap by Barnes. Gatherers by Buick. Buick's kick to full forward. Bounce. For Salmon. And he gets the goal. And kick it. Kicks it back in towards this uh, near side half-back flank region. Scott bashes it in the Malakalis direction. In turn, Pickering, lovely shot, goal. The Tudor, haven't seen much of him today. March in front of Denham, playing against his former club. Hills, or Hurd, Adlett. Snap, number 10. Comes out with it, high kick, and he travels about 30 metres. Salmon, McGrath, kick it. We look for a hand pass. Hills, right on 50, long shot. Will it get there? It's clipped. I think the line. Yes, sir, it's a goal. Yes, and Paul Salmon, I just kept an eye on him chasing there. He's got two gears at the present time, and uh, he certainly is hobbling. And notice Adrian Hickman back on the ground. Grenvold's kicking towards full forward, looking for Salmon. Yes, he does good. well, does very well, does extremely well. <laughs> Denham kicks the ball out for Essendon, well outside 50 metres. Up high, Barnes. What a specky. What a great game he's Oh, made. very talented player. And off the left foot. Oh! oh! <laughs> well, this shot will put Geelong in front if he kicks accurately. And 13 goals to Ablett. Geelong lead. It's going down to two and a half minutes now. Couch gathers. Handballs. O'Donnell gathers. O'Donnell kicks a score. What is it? It's a goal. Take the mark. Piston clear towards Watson. Oh, he's got to have a free kick. Gleason was on his hammer. Play on is the call. Gleason may have the last laugh. He gets it to Bradley. Bradley shoots towards goal. Carlton are back in business. He's booted out of his hands. Francis. It's getting slippery, this ball. As you can see. Rocker. Gee, he shows great agility. He deserves a goal and he's got one. On the left foot, trying to hook it back to half foot. Paul Williams and Craig Bradley. The loose ball is with McGuan. McGuan the quick kick. Here's a chance. Gavin Francisco, lovely bounce. Open goal, right through the middle. High one by Anderson. 
towards the centre. Hodges with a leap. Groom, well done, Groom. The tight situation. Gives Modra half a chance. One out. It's a tough ball to control. Well played, Modra. Jinky with him. Very well played, Modra. Brilliantly played a goal. What a bit of footy that was. Bad luck for Adelaide because Jarman had control and some space and he's so uh, constructive. Gowers from the side, Platten just handed it off quickly. Now Hudson from Hall, bang goal. A oh. beauty, a beauty. It's beaten Lee since coming on at quarter time. Good looking kick to Dunstall and a terrific mark. And this is the man that got Hawthorne back in the game in the first half when Adelaide threatened to dominate. Leans back, drop punt and puts it straight through. G'day, I'm Todd Viney from the Melbourne Football Club and you're watching Football Record Video. Well, the only thing I really want is Nicky to come back to St Kilda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm angry at the St Kilda Football Club and their response and the way they've handled the Nicky Winmar affair. And I'd also like to say to Nicky Winmar that a lot of football supporters are missing out on seeing a super superstar play with his absence. And I just hope that the negotiations can be settled fairly quickly so that we can get out here and support him. I reckon he should play. Win my hair, win my there, win my everywhere! <laughs> A lot of juniors I speak to ask just how they're going to make it to the big time. Well, of course, there's no easy way, but one of the most successful has been the Victorian Under-15 Schoolboys Championships. I should know from experience, I played there in 1980 myself, up in Darwin. In fact, there have been many, many big names to have played in these championships. Names such as Dermot Burton, Gary Lyon and Gavin Brown, to name just a few. So, when this year's competition took place, the football record video cameras were there, but they weren't the only ones taking a close look. The Victorian Under-15 Schoolboys Championships contains the best 600 footballers in the state and can guarantee there'll be plenty of AFL people having a look at these young stars of the future. I'm here because this is the first opportunity for these players to play against better players from other regions and also it's also been proven to be a, a good grounding or a good position place where we get players from in the past. I mean Anthony Bennick was first seen at the, this carnival, came on to be 1989 first draft choice, Leon Cameron was first seen at this carnival and Stuart Maxfield out of this carnival also played for Victoria. So I mean this is the place where these players first get to some level of stardom I suppose. Well, we obviously record them and put their uh, particulars on computer at the club, and then uh, as the years go by, we just find out where they're playing at and keep monitoring them on a regular basis. We have people out in the field at all of these regions, and we just make sure that the players that we've notified here are followed up in years to come. The one thing I would look for is balance and pace, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> you need pace too. Yeah. Oh, well, I think the, the key is to, to work on the deficiencies of your, your big game. By the same token, you've got to really enjoy footy and love your footy. And if, if you love your footy, you'll, you'll certainly uh, enjoy playing it and enjoy working on the things that will help you get more of the football in a game. And I think if you get it as many times in, as you can in a game, that, that, that helps a lot. And, and just work on the things that you're deficient at. Uh, 
some of the elite players at this level think that uh, their quality of football at this at this stage is going to be enough to get them through, and they don't really improve a lot, and uh, and they find themselves not going on to the expectations that they might set themselves. So it's about improving and working on the things that you aren't good at. Good day, I'm Mark McCurry. You're watching Football Record Video. Here we go again. McCurry beats a man inside 50, goes for the goal, a mercurial goal. Funniest incident I've seen on the ground would have been uh, my early days. A gentleman by the name of Ray Byrne was playing. He crossed over to us from Collingwood, and uh, he was uh, just a, a very average-looking gentleman and uh, ran around the ground screaming, "I'd hate to be playing on me today." The only reason I come to the footy is to eat a pie. The best thing about footy is eating, getting a pie. I come over here six years ago, started supporting Carlton at home in England. I'm a West Ham supporter. They're pretty terrible, a bit like St Kilda. Over here I support the Carlton team there because they're really good. <laughs> Need to get down at the other end. Harvey coming across there. He saw Chris down at the end of trouble there with Ablett. He came across to support and knocked it out of bounds. Some of it had kneeled. Gary Hocking, quick right foot snap. Oh, that's a brilliant piece of football. Geelong second. Well, Liberatore came back brilliantly. Schwoss on the boundary line, centering kick. Mansfield punches. McAdam, what a goal! Just nearly a terrific half volley. Showed great courage to put himself into the contest. West, oh, skillfully. West for goal number five. Brilliant against his former club. Hills or Hurd, Adlet. Snap, <laughs> number 10. It's bad luck for Adlet because German had control and some space and he's so uh, constructive. Gowers from the side, Platten just handed it off quickly. Now Hudson from Hall, bang goal. A oh. beauty, a beauty. No mark taken, roaming it well, was the Brownlow medalist, Paul Couch. Funny looking kick, the end result might be OK. Adler slung off the ball, snap shot, he's got his fourth! And the mark will be taken by Michael Christian at 50 metres. He can go in short, he does, but it clears the head of McGuan. No one coming at him. McGuan from the boundary line tries to hook it back, a sensational kick, McGuan for a goal! This time to Bickley. Bickley, an ordinary kick, a shocking kick. Straight to McGuan. McGuan dodging, weaving. Good play, Mickey McGuan. On the left foot, set sail for home. A beautiful sweeping kick. Oh, great goal, McGuan. Groom, well done, Groom. In a tight situation. Gives Modra half a chance. One out. It was a tough ball to control. Well played, Modra. Jenky with him. Very well played, Modra. Brilliantly played a goal. What a bit of footy that was. O'Reilly's kick into the pocket. Back there is Mansfield and Warsfold. Bucked by Ablett. Hard at the footy. Brownless. Ablett. Oh, he's done it again. Oh, oh Gary Ablett. by the captain, now Brown. Can pass it, Bradley trying to thump it back. Well taken by Brown again. Oh, Rowe races in the goal, oh, and he's missed. Oh, great play by Collingwood. Spoiled by a wayward kick. <laughs> what was it then? You tell me. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah. We're not going to argue with you, Bernie. Mercury kicks a goal and gets it behind. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carl Langdon for the West Coast Eagles. For the latest news from around the grounds, keep watching Football Record Video. Each month we bring you all the latest news on what's coming up in the AFL with our Football Diary. Here then are some of the things to watch out for in the upcoming weeks. I'm 
would like to see Royce Harp, Billy Barrett, uh, or Chris Paul. Rioli. And all the oldie oldies, really. Oh, well, yes. Dickie Clay. Because uh, what about Jackie Dyer? That, that's the one we'd like to have back. Freddie Smith. Swift died, wasn't he? He was shot. Yeah, don't you think? Yeah, I've been following the Tigers since I was sitting on my grandmother's knee at the front road oval. And I really think that they need a few positional players, especially around the back line, to help the younger blokes that are get, gain more experience. claims being made by light beers these days. So what's so special about Foster's special? Some light bitters seem to lose that crisp, clean taste after a couple of glasses. So what's so special about Foster's special? With the State of Origin series expanding this year to a carnival format, there's sure to be plenty of great action, which leads us to our great replay for the month, the day in 1989 when State of Origin returned to the MCG with a vengeance. Victoria took on a South Australian team that in previous years reigned supreme. But this time, the Vicks had the answers, led by a spectacular two-pronged forward line. Screen. Chance there for Buse. Gavin Brown gets it out now to Mitchell. Mitchell plays on quickly, kicks it towards centre half forward and chipping in, taking a nice mark as Terry Danaher. He chips it out wide to the pocket and Dunstall's let out well in front of Delaney. And Dunstall takes the mark 50 metres from goal. Short pass, great one. And Lockett. Well, it's working, Don. Tony Lockett, he's already kicked one. Drop punt, it's OK. And Waitman's starting to pick up a few kicks. They've got to tighten up as he gets a quick kick. Waitman into the square. There's a Victorian mark, Dunstall. The Vicks in attack. Log it to Dunstall. Oh, he's gone. Madden directs play in towards the centre. Good mark taken by Danaher. Hand pass out the back to Brown. Second bounce approaching the 50 metre mark. Brown's left foot pass. Magnificent. And lock it. Too far out to score, but he can centre it. The kick is a good one, and he finds Darren Jarman. Both Jarman boys playing in this South Australian lineup. Jarman looks to go with a torpedo punt kick. That is a goal! Aish plays on quickly, round onto the right foot now. Drop punt kick to within goal scoring distance. No mark. At the back. Kick off the ground. It's going to bounce through. It's a goal! South Australian goal! Terry Danaher, a lead from Lockett into the pocket. He's got a prop, but he's got it. Tony Lockett shoots. Tony Lockett goals. Waitman through the middle, out of the mud, back to Dunstall. Vaults once, twice, onto the left foot, flicks it, and goes into the square. Hughes on the last line of defence is pulled off it. Watson will make amends. He'll give it to Bruns. Bruns will goal, and I think the fat lady can start singing. Hand pass to Mitchell, into an open goal. Is this another one coming up? It's a post. There's the siren. The game's all over. And a big victory to Victoria. Dale Wayman, um, very disappointing that finally Richmond's given him away. He's still playing very well. But um, today they're performing above themselves and I hope they win. I think Dale Waitman's got plenty of good football left in him and he'll be back. Riccardi, clever little toe poke towards Lynch who should go. Good goal. Goes on with it to his skipper. Worst foul through the middle. Over the head of Waterman and Steele. Henny waits at the back. Oh, they've got the runners now. Here's Matera, 53 metres from goal. He set sail for home. A mighty kick and a mighty goal. Long towards Henny. McGrath had front spot. Lewis burst through. Will get a second opportunity from 50 metres. He's going to have a shot. Played by Chris Lewis. Marvellous play. 
towards Handley, who got a fist to it and bangs it down towards Gary Hocking in the middle. He's still going. Flicks it on the couch. He gets back on the left foot. Doesn't worry about that. Fires a hand pass to Scott. This looks promising. Scott the ball forward. Go! Hand pass wider. Chance for Lynch now. Lynch's kick wide, giving O'Reilly a chance to run at it, which is a very good kick. He's off. Because it made it difficult for Jakovic. O'Reilly's kick into the pocket. Back there is Mansfield and Warsfold. But by Ablett. Hard at the footy. Brownless. Ablett. Oh, he's done it again. Oh, oh, Gary Ablett. For West Coast, Hetty and Sumich have kicked two each. Ball rebounds for O'Reilly. His kick to full forward. Ablett. Here's another one. He's on centre wing, Dean Kemp. A tentative bounce as Matera takes out Riccardi to give him a bit of room to move. Up towards half forward, Clappe takes the mark. McIntosh gives him the lead. Danger here for the Cats as McIntosh marks just 40 metres out. Kick from 45 metres. Might have taken it across the front or has he just snuck it home? Yes, he has. Harding out into the path of West. They may get another goal here. West kick, awkward for McIntosh. Gather is by Clappe, off to Pike, and Pike's shot for goal is OK. Makes good. Awkward one for the big fellow. In towards full forward, Darcy and McIntosh. Kick is by Hines, is a goal. McGuan at half-back. Good kick to centre wing, Kelly in the front spot, Wiedemann with him, Kelly recovers, played his first game back off the interchange last week, Anderson caught, gives it up to Wright, whose pace will enable him to get away, Hart puts a, well, put a tackle on him, now Watson who can kick a goal from here, from 50 metres, attacks, goes bang and boots it. Under pressure from Shaw, Jarman playing well in the second quarter, back to McDermott, centering kick. Mark! Oh! oh! What a mark! Oh! It's oh. really... Oh! What's a great talent. He, now, he just looked as if he was probably after that, and I hope he's OK, because he's one of the stars of the AFL, and from 40 metres, he's kicked his third. Adelaide back in business here. Quickly an ordinary kick, a shocking kick. Straight to McGuan. McGuan dodging, weaving. Good play, Mickey McGuan. On the left foot, set sail for home. A beautiful sweeping kick. Oh, great goal, McGuan. To Stevens. North looking the better team at the present time. Stevens inside the 50. Campbell body to body with Longmire. Roberts with Dash. McAdam open goal beckons. He pops it through. Support by Allison, but the hand pass went behind him. Brandt recovered. Back to Kellett. Chance for a goal. 55 metres out. Kellett goes long. Delray Shepherds a goal. Scrambles it forward. Here's Carey. Should have gone to Romero there. Elects to kick instead towards the kickoff line. In front, McAdam. I'm Simon Atkins from Footscray. You're watching Football 
record video. One of the early season shocks was the redrafting by Essendon of my old mate Tim Watson. A former Premiership player and skipper, Watson had bowed out of football at the end of season 1991 after 282 games. The last time he was seen the Bombers jumper was when he ran a lap of honour at Waverley last year with two other retirees, Terry Danaher and Simon Madden. And wasn't that the slowest lap of Waverley you'll ever see? So we decided to take our cameras to Bomberland and catch up with Tim to see just how hard it's been on the comeback trail. Watson. Typical Watson aggression. And look at the kick. Oh, look Sandy. at that goal. I didn't start training until February. And uh, so I suppose you, know, you can't expect too much. It takes a long time to get back to be fit enough to play AFL football. So I've been pretty happy with the way things have gone. It's difficult to get match conditioning without actually playing in the matches. And I think that uh, you know, the hardest part's being just to get fit enough to get into the, into the matches. And then now, um, now the matches have started, it's, 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 it's a different fitness that's required. And um, I think all the guys would vouch for that, that the fitness that they have during pre-season is totally different to the fitness that they end up having after they've played a few games. There's been a, a huge change in the personnel here. We've had a lot of players come and go, so it's been good to, to meet the new players who I'd read about and who I'd seen only play on the television. And of course, sort of to, to uh, renew friendships from, from the other players who've been here uh, yeah, the last time I was here. Farms it out, beautiful hand pass to Watson. Great vision and a fine... My goals are going to be very simple. I'd be happy to get through the first game. Um, and then after that, I suppose I'd start to look at other long-term goals, but you know, since I started this campaign to get back and play league football, the goal has always been to play again, and I suppose that's a, oversimplifying it, but that's, a, you know, that's what I needed to do. I couldn't really set myself any other goals apart from that. I'd be looking at playing this season, getting this season under my belt, and if, if all things go well, uh, I don't cop any serious injuries, and I would keep the fitness training going and hopefully play again in 1994 because uh, you know, I'm as excited about playing now as I've ever been in any part of my career and although I know that I can't play on forever I think that I possibly could play another year if this season goes all right. Watson now he's away he'll run into the open goal Watson at his best a couple of bounces bang there's another one to the Bombers. Not just a great player but a really terrific bloke as well all of us at Essendon just love having Tim back in the fold now, it's time for the great marks of the month. I think that was a shocker. Hudson Flemily. This is Allen left half forward. Good kick to Gowers into open space. Well, if you've got that time, you can't waste it coming out. They've been caught badly on the rebound. German. Off to Foster. The veteran goes to half forward. Footscray doing the bulk of the attacking. Hogg defends. High kick. Back towards the centre. Oh, great mark by Welsh the hand pass, he's inside the centre square kicks it towards half forward, Carey battling with Sexton, oh what a mark what a mark unbelievable bounces nicely for Allen, who surrenders some ground gets it back, Cooper kicks inside the 50, Dunstall's the target again, what a spectacular mark by Pittman in from the side just to make it completely safe McCarthy from centre wing the kick to centre half forward, he's looking for Baldwin, oh, oh what a mark well he was out Surely. Oh, very talented player. And off the left foot. Oh! oh! Taken away by Darcy. In for Gary Hocking. Two bounces. Forced to kick with that left foot. Not bad. Looks oh. for him. Oh! Langerling! What a spicky! Another hand pass. Stevens over the top cleverly. As the kick from Larkin. Matthew Larkin. It's a mark. Oh, look at that ball on fire. Under pressure from Shaw. Jarman playing well in the second quarter. Back to McDermott. Centering kick. Mark! Oh! oh what oh. a mark! Oh! Brilliant! Oh, by there, Bruce. Uh, down the mark. Has Allison creeped up? Was it Stevens on the mark? Has he crept up a yard or so? Gives it his best. Mark! the mark of the year. I'll say now, no one will beat that. That's the biggest leap 
since Chilla Porter ran second in the 56 Olympic Games. Oh, 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 well, 45,000 people oh. have risen to one. It's one of the great moments in the game, isn't it? It really is. I'm Mel Hanna for the great highlights throughout the season. Keep watching Football Records video. Go Saints! <laughs> oh, I'll try have a real one there, White Rabbit! You bloody idiots! Okay, I'm a Saints supporter and I have to be because I'm Peter Everett's girlfriend. In our last issue of Football Record video, we asked if our Scott Palmer lookalike would come forward. Well, not only our lookalike came forward, but the man himself. Trouble is, we don't know who's who. Hi, I'm Scott Palmer. We're on Football Record video, and keep punching. Scott Palmer. No, I'm Scott Palmer. You're Scott Palmer. I'm definitely <laughs> Scott Palmer. <laughs> you do look very much like me. Perhaps we might be able to do a little bit of a deal here. Oh, I think we could. Perhaps you can do the football replay on Channel 7 on a Saturday night, and I can go to the football and have a good time. Oh, that'd be great. What, think, what match do you reckon you could do next week for me? Geelong. Geelong? I follow Geelong. Go down and see Gary? Oh, I'd love to. Well, I might slip down the week after and do the Gary Ablett as well, too, oh. so that'll be a nice go for us, both of us. Terrific. But do you reckon you could take off the part? Oh, I could take off the part. Have you got the, have you got the keep oh, punching there? I've got the keep punching. Have you got the hair right? Not right, but have don't get Have you got the it. glasses OK? Oh, terrific. Have you got the smile, a good smile? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I reckon you might be able to do it, Scott oh, Palmer. Do I think so too, Scotty, and keep, keep punching. punching. <laughs> One side that's forced the critics to eat some humble pie is North Melbourne. Just about everyone wrote them off after their shellacking by the Crows in the Fosters Cup. Then, with the departure of Wayne Schimmelbush, well, that just seemed to add to the turmoil. But in stepped Dennis Pagan, and with some newfound commitment and desire, the North Melbourne boys are really starting to command some respect. So we decided we'd venture to Arden Street to talk to the man at the helm. Coaching at senior level has been something that, you know, I suppose everyone who coaches dreams about. Um, I certainly had a dream about it. I didn't uh, carry it on so much in my latter years and I was very philosophical about it probably four or five years ago and I always believed that if you did a good job, someone was going to eventually take notice and, and, and you'd get an opportunity. Good, Anthony. Excellent. When I first came back to North Melbourne, I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't been in the place for 18 months. Um, the thing that I did notice, that the players were very receptive, really embraced all the concepts that I wanted to introduce and really tried, to a man, to carry everything out. And the players should take a, well, all the credit for what's going on at North Melbourne in, in, the, uh, in recent times. Adelson, Roberts. He was very mobile for his side, shepherded by Pyman, long way out from goal, 55 metres, kicks at goal, off the hands of the pack, McCannon goal, he kicks his fourth. A lot of people thought the club was down when I first took over. Uh, I didn't think so, I understood the culture. I'd coached a lot of the guys before, probably over 50% of the list, and I knew what was involved and I knew uh, the talent that was available and I honestly believed that, that, that uh, we could turn it around again. We had some very good players this year. Wayne Carey as a captain and as a uh, leader has been sensational. Uh, his form on the ground's well documented. Um, and the build up to, to games, he's been, uh, he, he really has led well. I'm very proud of Wayne Carey and he, he's far exceeded my, hand, my high standards that I set for him. Wayne, Wayne Swass, the vice captain, has done likewise. We've had some very good players this year. Um, Anthony Rock, Craig Scholl, Adrian McAdam, John Longmire. Darren Crocker, Alex Ashenka, and I could go on and on and on, but if I, if I do, I'm going to leave somebody out, so I'll stop there. Carey at the back, a big chance. Goal to Carey. We've got a very potent uh, forward line with Wayne Carey, with John Longmire, um, with Adrian McAdam. Um, they seem to be uh, playing together as they have been together for years. Um, I've been very pleased. Um, they are talented players, and I think they should take all the credit. There's the siren, and North Melbourne have had a resounding victory, so they've defeated Geelong. A lot of people say that uh, it's a fluke for North Melbourne to be on top of the ladder. I honestly believe that North Melbourne are a good side. 
And I think you, uh, you just don't uh, land on top of the ladder. You have to work to get there. And we realise it's a lot easier getting there than it is staying there. And um, I think North Melbourne in the coming weeks will prove uh, to, the, to the football people of Victoria that we are a good side. Hi, I'm John Platten. If you want to know what's happening in football, watch Football Record Video. Dunstall at the back. Oh, Mark Drop. Johnny Platten around the corner. Will it bounce through? Look at the bounce of this. Remarkable goal. Uh, the funniest incident I've seen in my football career was when I was in the seconds at North Melbourne. Our coach at the time, Laurie Dewey, was giving us a half time speech and trying to show us how to pick our man up when he walked backwards and fell into the boot trunk <laughs> and uh, Nelly disappeared and he was very mad at the time but when that happened everybody laughed. The funniest thing I've ever had out in the ground was uh, when I tossed the coin with Doug Hawkins uh, last year and before the coin dropped I jumped in front of him and the umpire grabbed the coin and started running to one end of the ground and uh, I remember looking back and seeing Dougie remonstrating with the umpire but all our team, my team had already gone to their position so we couldn't do anything about it. Oh, I'm a Madsen Kilda supporter and all I have to do is make coffee for the boys. Yeah, but it's cold because you're too busy doing this, isn't it? Davis. I have been following Richmond for 68 years. I am 82. I sit in the same seat every week. And every time I can come to a match here, I come. Ray Lockett's going to kick 12 today and that's going to be his worst effort. Gana Sainers! And now, here's Football Record Video's Player of the Month. Turner. Ramiro. Turns on a threepenny bit. Puts it back inside 50. Carey. McCadden. Can he get another goal? 15 metres out. Goes at it. And gets it. Well, I started my footy in, in Alice as a junior playing, playing primary schools and then growing up playing under 15s and under 18s and all that but around about in 85 I went over to Adelaide and I and me and my mother moved over there and my younger brother and I started playing with a school called Nailsworth High School which was a zone for North Adelaide so uh, North Adelaide ended up picking me up and from there I played a lot of juniors with North Adelaide and three senior games. Kick so far. This is his third kick. Will it be his second goal? It is. Shepherd by Pyman. Long way out from goal. 55 metres. Kicks it goal off the hands of the pack. McCannon goal. The club's been treating me pretty well, actually. Um, I'm enjoying the things since I've been here. The um, players and the club and everyone that's associated with, with the North Melbourne Free Club have been all great. Goes at goal. Oh. And the strengths that I've got with my kicking and the skills that I've got really helps me out. Um, I, I look at it in the games and who's on me on how tall they are or how short they are or the way they play. So the strengths that I've probably got would be kicking for goals and um, the skills that I've got. McAdam, what a goal! Probably kicking so many goals in two matches was a bit of a surprise for myself and probably for the club and for a lot of other people. But I was pretty happy to, you know, get that get the result what happened what what actually happened during the day. We had no right to take that. Gilbert's been great. Um, uh, we've grown up together in our junior days a fair bit around the house and with the family. Uh, now that we're both in Melbourne, it's it's good because you know, coming from a town like Alice, it's a long way away from Melbourne, and um, you get lost. You probably get lost if you had no one around. You know, that that gives you so much support. That's that's been there and done it, and and um, it's good to have him there because you know, when he plays good football, it gives him confidence, gives himself confidence. And we both feel good about it if we're both playing good footy, and, but it's good to have him here playing with Saints. My aims this year are probably just to maintain my spot in the 20, um, just 
just to keep kicking goals and um, <clears throat> just to make sure that I finish off the year on a good note and just to um, consolidate my spot. Alex to kick instead towards the kickoff line. In front, McAdam! Five goals to Adrian McAdam, and the fairy tale continues. G'day, I'm Stephen Stretch from the Melbourne Football Club. You're watching Football Record Video. He kicks down towards half four. Oh, what a run! My favourite player is Nicky Wimmer, Gilbert McAdam and Tony Luckett. OK, I've got the scarf, the headband and now I want Stuart Lowe. <laughs> we are the boys from Churchill Park and we are looking forward to the big game at AFL Park. I'm a Tiger support and I reckon Maddie Knights is a good player. Beaten but goes in again. Moore, it's got him. Punching down towards Shaw, who's taken out of the line. Wright shows Hannah a piece of the footy, then kicks to centre wing. Oh, the big men go at it. The back. Can't take the mark. Gives away a quick hand pass. McFury, well tackled by Libertore. He goes down. Mongos trying to flip it wide. Carl didn't have the numbers. Madden gets the hand pass away. Caught with Shaw. Taken away by Silvani, I really thought Rocker was dragged down, but the rebound comes to Elvin, onto Spalding, too slow, well Spalding, that is bad play. Elvin, too slow to get his boots with, oh. I'm Scott Palmer and you're watching Football Record Video, so keep on punching. Uh, I can do better than that. We'll do it. Hi, I'm Scott Palmer. You're watching Football Record Video and keep on punching. They won match in reserves uh, this year when they were beaten by Brisbane and the mark taken by Lynch again. He kicks this, it won't bring the house down here, but it'll make a lot of people back in Victoria happy. Drop, punt, good looking kick again by Lynch through. Evans going nowhere. This is Boyd snapping across his body. Lynch down there with White. Ball runs free. Waterman took his eye off the ball. Dunstan turns, kicks, and kicks through. Taken by Jakovic, who uh, had to be shifted very early after Lynch had booted three. Jakovic runs a long way and then thumps the ball towards Hetty. Went for a ride. Couldn't get it in the end. McIntosh well played. Handball is good. Left foot snap by Waterman is a goal. Wine provides the run. Centering kick looks OK. On a long lead, Lynch, no free kick. Good defence by West Coast. Waterman was there to try and hang on to it. Stevens with an opportunity. Gets a quick handball out to Lyon, who's been quiet. Lyon goes back. It was the right option. Gale stops, props, takes McKenna on. Goes bang from 55 metres. Lynch gets into the back of White. Bouncing ball through. Goal. Baldwin takes it away. And did pretty well there, Baldwin, because he had very few options. Gale's handball OK. Wine from 50. Drop punt. Lynch at the back. McKenna Lynch with his fourth, is it? Left foot, yes. Hines from Harding. Now, here's a very good chance for the Eagles to make a pay. Eugle spins around, turns Manson inside out, goes bang and kicks a goal. Getting men free across half back. Pike goes for distance, down towards centre half forward. Eugle read it brilliantly to Wilson. Wilson from 35 metres out, kicks a goal. Well, five minutes ago, you thought Fitzroy could have uh, won with 10 goals. You suddenly feel that they need another one, just to make it completely safe. McCarthy from centre wing, the kick to centre half forward. He was looking for Baldwin. Oh, oh what a mark! Well, he was out of it, surely. Oh, great catch. <laughs> Brett Stevens can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> he almost looked. Took oh, himself out unbelievable! Of the <laughs> he goes short to wind and takes the mark to kick what should be a ceiling goal, and he's put it through. Gives it across to Liberatore. Danger here for Carlton as the dogs go down to half forward. 
At the back is Royal. With him is Alvin. Gets the hand pass off to Delray. He's only got to get clear. He does. Left foot step. What a beauty! Comes across the ground. Out Kernahan territory. Williams, what can he do? Look at that hand pass to Smith. The left footer. Bends it back. What a goal. What a goal. In the centre of the ground. Stanfield, a long kick. To within goal scoring distance for Footscray. Chance for Grant. He won't miss this, surely. It's a goal. Mickey McGuan, right on the boundary line. Oh, it's a great kick. Across the face. And that could be a goal. Off the ground for a goal. 81 plays 56. Collingwood in front. Moncourt over his head. Chance here. Francisco goes off the ground. Rowe with Collins. Rowe 40 metres out. Williams 45 metres out. Hoists it high. A chance. A goal. I'd like to be on the pies now. I'm Paul Ruse from the Fitzroy Football Club. Great action, great highlights. That's football record video. High kick towards the wing. Ruse! I reckon we're a bunch of champions, and I reckon they never should have dropped the Lulio. <laughs> How do you say it? The Lulio! Idiot! Idiot! <laughs> Uh, the funniest incident will have to go back a few years, Mark Jackson throwing handstands and all these types of things that he used to do. I thought it was fun and uh, I used to get a few laughs out of it. Well, that's about it for this issue of Football Record Video. I've had a great time bringing you all the action, and I trust you've enjoyed it as well. Please, when you see our cameras at the football, get up and say good day to us. We really do appreciate your input. We'll leave you with some highlights of one of the greatest ever individual performances by a man. Well, he might be a man, we don't know, but he's kicked 14 goals against us. His name's Gary Ablett. I'm not so sure I want to sit through it again, but here it is. Thanks again. I'll see you next time on Football Record Video. the square. Watch this kick. Watch this kick. G'day, this is Rex Hunt. Hope you're enjoying Football Record Video 1993. We'll see you next week for more action in AFL. Uh, yibbity yibbity. That's all, folks.
Gentlemen, please. 135 football seasons ago, four sportsmen decided to change the name of the game. Yeah. So, you got the post? Between the goal. posts, the goal. Why can't we use our hands to mark the ball? <laughs> What about these posts? Stick up two sticks in the goal. We'll put the emphasis yeah. on kicking. Yeah. It's the name of the game. Why outside? Why can't we pass forward? The name of the game. It keeps the game flowing. What are we calling? Yeah. The name of the game. What will anybody bother turning up?